We also have the latest details following yesterday's death of Campbellsville U University student Josiah Kilman. Tonight, Taylor County Coroner Daniel Cook said the cause of his death was manual strangulation. We also have more information on who Charles Escalera is and how the community is reacting to Kilman's death. Students stayed inside Saturday after learning one of their peers passed away. I was actually like shocked when I first saw the news and I didn't believe it. Someone found 18 year old Josiah Malachi Kilman unresponsive early Saturday morning in his dorm. Medical professionals pronounced him dead at Taylor Regional Hospital. The Taylor County coroner has yet to determine his cause of death. I've seen him around but didn't know him in personally. It was very shocked. I was, I was, I was very shocked. For hours, the campus enforced heightened precautions, asking folks to stay alert and lock their cars and homes as they waited for police to identify a suspect. This community is very small. Everybody know each other, and people are just so amazing to to others. And um, yeah, I love to know like what's going on and. Uh, what had happened to him. Then Saturday afternoon, police obtained an arrest warrant for 21 year old Charles Escalara for murder. Less than two hours after announcing a lockdown and pictures showing Escalara at a nearby Lowe's, a local farmer spotted him in his barn. KSP arrested Escalara and the campus lifted the lockdown. Because like me personally, I'm what? In 20s, I don't have any uh, child, uh, but I can't imagine uh, the pain the family is going through. Dr. Joseph Hopkins, president of Campbellsville University, said the school is grieving the loss of Kilman. I'm pretty sure he's in a good place right now with uh, the only God he trusts in, and I'm sure. Um, uh, his families uh, think the same way I do as well. Escalera and Kilman were teammates on the Campbellsville University wrestling team. Escalera is now being held in the Taylor County Detention Center. He is charged with murder and burglary in the second degree with a $2 million cash bond.